Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and Shannon Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute baby hat with a baby strap so it stays on baby's head. For this project, you will need the following. You will need a printed out version of the pattern, half a yard of cuddle fleece, in the demo piece two different fabrics are used, a number 90 jersey ballpoint needle, thread, and two to three inches of sew on velcro. The fabric I'm using in this demonstration is from the Robert Kaufman collection. Specifically, it's night owls and watermelon topaz and candy stripe in watermelon topaz. Be sure to check those out on shannonfabrics.com while they're still available. Be sure to check out all the other wonderful fabrics they have on that website as well. Print up the pattern portion of the PDF, pages 7 through 14. You can find assembly instructions on fleecefun.com's channel. You have the option of making the hat reversible by making both the exterior and the lining out of cuddle fabric. You can also make the lining out of satin. For the hat, you will need to cut out two of the exterior or lining front and two of the exterior lining back. Once you've cut out all the pieces that you're going to use, I recommend taking them outside immediately and giving them a good shake as it, the fabric can shed a bit. This will save you a lot of cleanup later, so just take it outside and give it a good shake. One thing I recommend, since we're not using a walking foot in this particular piece because it's so curvy and a walking foot would not be very effective, be sure you pin the fabric well. This is not a fabric you can skip pinning on at all. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to want to use more pins than you normally do in one of your other projects on this fabric to prevent sliding underneath the needle. With right sides together, sew the front of the exterior to the back of the exterior. Note the front and back of the hat are not symmetrical, so be sure that you have the right pieces together. Using a half inch seam allowance, sew the side seams together, leaving the V at the top open. Then turning the hat, sew the V shut, pinch the V together, right sides of the front together, right sides of the back together, pin and sew along in one continuous half inch seam. Repeat with the lining. All right, now that you have the exterior and the interior sewn, it's time to make them one. Now, one more thing, you're gonna want a lint roller handy while you're working. Just to clean yourself off, keep your work area nice, you might even wanna wear an apron, just to keep mess to a minimum. Take the lining and stuff it into the exterior so right sides are touching. Make sure the two front pieces are touching and the two back pieces are touching. Line up the seams and the bottoms. Pin the bottoms of the lining and the exterior together. Sew all the way around the bottom using a half inch seam allowance, leaving a three inch gap in the back for turning. Cut slits in the curves, taking care not to cut through your seam that you just sewed, and trim down the pieces where the fabric is bulky, like the ends of the straps. Turn right side out using the, oh, the gap that you left, working with the fabric a little bit as it is a squeeze. Now that you have them together and you've turned it right side out, it's time to sew that gap shut. Once you've turned it right side out, stuff the lining of the hat into place. You can hand sew the gap shut or tuck in the raw edge and sew the end shut by machine. Now this next step is completely optional, but personally I like it. It just gives the hat such a nice finished look and it also helps prevent it from sliding around since it is a reversible hat so you want each side to stay where it's supposed to stay. So I highly recommend that you do this next step. I know it's an extra pain to do but it really is worth it and it makes the hat just sit very nicely on the head. Top stitch all around the base of the hat a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Alright now that you've done your 
uh, top stitching, it is time to add the Velcro and finish up. On the exterior side of one strap, pin the loop of the Velcro and on the interior or the lining of the other side, pin the hook portion of the Velcro. So on the Velcro, trim your threads and you're finished. And you're finished. You have a cute hat that is so soft and it feels good no matter what side you have it on. I love how it's reversible. One thing you might want to do is just add a cute pin to give it a little more personality. If you like this project, I have several others on my website, fleecefun.com. All my patterns and tutorials are free. You might also like the Halloween hat pack, which by the way, many of the modifications would work with this pattern. You might also like the car seat canopy, a great innovative design that actually wraps around the handles, making it absolutely secure around your little baby. And it'd look great in cuddle fabric too. Be sure to go to shannonfabrics.com to see their amazing collection of cuddle fleece that's available. They also have several free patterns available on their website as well. Fleece Fun is also on Facebook and on Pinterest, so be sure to check us out there. Have a great day for fleecefun.com and for Shannon Fabrics. I'm Angel. Remember, velvet is pretentious, fleece is fun.